T-Mobile Home Run Derby from Dodger Stadium. Where else would you rather be? There is no place we'd rather be than Los Angeles, California, Dodger Stadium. It's been 20 plus years since the All-Star Game were here, and tonight it's about that guy. And a hot sun, the polar bear, trying to shine one more time and make it a three-peat. He's got seven guys who are chomping at the bit to knock him off. What a setting, what a venue. We're going to see balls maybe leave this building off into the uh, San Gabriel Mountains, and who knows, and this place is full, and they are ready to watch a home run derby. So J-Rod will lead things off. Seager will have an eye on him. What a start for Julio Rodriguez, another one that's left the building. And oh boy, is Julio Rodriguez making his first one memorable. The players down the line, they are watching. They're standing up watching Julio Rodriguez right now. Last few seconds here, Rodriguez ends it with a flurry and a big fly. Mookie looked at me and said, I've never seen him in person. Oh, my God. And <laughs> <laughs> right, here's that groove again. He gets on a heater and he keeps going. He's at 30. Line shot here, five seconds to go with 31, 32. What a start to this derby. 32 shots for Julio Rodriguez and a standing ovation. And now the former Dodger welcomed back with a standing ovation, won a World Series with this team, of course. He wants to elevate. He knows this ballpark well. And Carl, he's putting on a show as he well. He sure is. Seager in his second appearance with his dad on the mound. And he's given up bombs, which is what you want to do as a batting practice pitcher. That's going to stay fair. Seager off to a great start. Not going to be for Corey Seager. But he and his dad did this place proud. Listen to the crowd for Corey Seager. Julio Rodriguez, the sixth seed, knocks out the three seed, Corey Seager, with 32 first round home runs. Tomas Perez told me before this derby, who is throwing to Acuna, we need the pool tonight. That's the location he wants, up and in. Like it's one that. out, there goes another. Yeah, just like that. That's the zone he's looking for, and now he's locking in. Left center, the rhythm, he's found it. 15 now for Acuna. Wow, up on the concourse out there. And that's it, so only 19, a frustrating round for Ronald Acuna. Yeah, he's, he's definitely frustrated with it. It's not the number, it's the opponent. It's Pete Alonso. Yeah. He owns it. Right now, you can see he's feeling the music, he's feeling the environment. 19 home runs for El Oso Blanco might be enough for him to get over that. Pete Alonso's show is back on. He picked up where he left off last year. He's got a 480-foot homer, a 479-foot homer. Well, he's already picked up another 60 seconds, and that one went 480 feet. We talk about how he compresses the baseball. Swing is built for this event and he embraces this event. No one has ever won three straight derbies. Cespedes won two. Griffey did win three, not in a row. Cespedes and Griffey went back to back like Alonzo. There's another one, and now we got 19. And the next one will move Pete into a showdown with Julio Rodriguez. What a right side of the bracket. There, there it goes. Alonzo will move on as he walks off. The ball almost left the stadium. Pete Alonzo advances. He beats Ronald Acuna Jr. 20 for Alonzo. The two-time defending champion moves on. As Jose Ramirez approaches the plate, and he's hitting right-handed, Paul. Yep, switch hitter. He's going to hit right-handed. 9 and 10. That's a fair ball off the foul pole. He's hitting more off his front foot than he was earlier before the timeout. And I think this is benefiting him because he's catching the ball out in front and he's being able to elevate it now. Not necessarily with a lot of distance over 440, but enough to get it over the fence. Jose Ramirez of the Cleveland Guardians, 17 home runs, which is the number that Soto is going to try to get to. The emotion from Juan Soto. Those who have followed his career, this is one of the brightest stars in all of baseball <laughs> and the first ball he sees. But you guys have had that first ball leave the yard. He does. Juan the other day, guys, he made it clear, look, I'm not out there to hit moonshots. He just wants to pile up as many home runs as possible. 23 years, 266 days. If he were able to win this derby, he'd be the second youngest ever to do it. He's only 23 years old. The youth movement is happening. Rodriguez, 21. Soto feels like he's been in the league for 10 years already. Off a glove, but a good ball. There's another homer for Soto. 
And that will end it. Juan Soto does the job as he advances and eliminates Jose Ramirez. This is Albert Pujols making his fifth appearance. That ties David Ortiz for six most. And Albert Pujols at 10. All right. He only has 30 seconds of bonus time and gets the majority of the crowd up on their feet for a standing ovation. Now you can see this moment building, and now every player are moving towards home play to honor Albert Pujols on a legendary Hall of Fame career. Gone. Yes, he got it. Albert Pujols' round ends at 13. Nice ovation for the future Hall of Famer. Now Kyle Schwarber is going to get set to take some swings. Yeah, but this is not the Schwarber that we had expected coming into this thing. He's going to need four in a minute. Just to the fans here in the stadium are probably pulling Albert's way. That ties it. He needs one to move on. We've got a tie with 12 seconds remaining. And <laughs> we may to go for both. So Albert is going to get a bat again with a minute on the clock. And you can just sense what's happening. It's so familiar when he gets that backspin on that ball to left field. And he's now got a couple going. Here we go, Albert starting to get on a run. And another. And the crowd is starting to scream. Getting a big hug from his son, AJ. Albert Pujols, he's just put the pressure on, on Schwartz. Sure has. Pujols is watching intently, so are his fans. Schwarber 17. Schwarber 18. Nope. Yes, oh my. Albert Pujols is going to stay alive. Albert Pujols will knock off Schwarber and look at Kyle. Deference to the legend. So the semifinals number one, it's the Mariners rookie Julio Rodriguez against the two-time defending champ Pete Alonso. This is where you talked about earlier. Pete Alonso gets stronger as the event goes on. He's meditating as Julio Rodriguez goes out there. But fatigue does set in. The question is, does it set in as quick on a 21-year-old's body? That will carry up into the bleachers a quarter of the way up. It's so quick. I can't emphasize enough how quickly they're pitching. It's every three seconds. Boom, boom, And it's an effortless boom, swing boom, when boom. you watch them. 30 for Julio Rodriguez after he had 34 in the first round. Julio Rodriguez, Doug, putting on a show. I mean, a show, and it's strategic. That's the thing that's so impressive. The polar bear steps in. J-Rod will watch. Minute 48 remaining in this round, and now timeout, an early timeout from Pete Alonso. And the way he motioned for timeout, you can see he's a little frustrated right now. But he's less than halfway there. The minute, what do you think? You've got to get to 17 or so? I think this is a steep hill to climb even for Pete Alonso right now. And this is going to be the end of the run. There will not be a three-peat for Pete Alonso. Julio Rodriguez will advance and knock out the two-time defending champion. Raise those eyebrows. Now there's Pujols, the second semifinalist, 42-year-old who had to go to extra time to eliminate the top seed, Kyle Schwarber. There's a drive to left, that'll go. The final swing for Pujols, and he tops it. So Albert Pujols at 12, and so he'll have 30 seconds to try to add to his total. 13, that's a deep drive, 14. And will that be 15? Doug, does it have enough? Yes, it does. What a show for Albert Pujols in this 2022 home run derby. He knocks out Kyle Schwarber, and now he knows Juan Soto will take the cuts. Needs 16 and set up a finals match of Soto and Julio Rodriguez. With 30 seconds left, he will have a minute because he already is into the bonus plus that extra because of the distance. Should have enough. Yeah, that's number 12, and that's a big shot from Soto. That one did leave. He's got 13 now. All right, so Juan's going to need three in a minute. He's in a great position. 30 seconds to go for one. That should do it. He thinks so. High fly ball down the right field line. That's it. So Juan Soto will move to the finals and take on Julio Rodriguez. A youth movement here in Los Angeles. To our future, Juan Soto and Julio Rodriguez. Like Rodriguez, who hits so rhythmically. Two minutes in the final. Rodriguez, the right-handed batter, digs in. Hooking. Home.
home run. Line drive to left toward the line again. Just got out for Rodriguez. He's at 10. Five seconds. Rodriguez crushes one. Ooh. Left field. Way back there. 13. Number 14 is in the air and over the wall. Ooh. Julio Rodriguez, 14 home runs. High fly ball, left center, Rodriguez. Will it carry? It does, number 18, and the last one to the left of dead center. And it hits up against the base of the wall. So the number has been posted for Julio Rodriguez, and you want to clap for what he did tonight in his first home run derby. What a show from the rookie for Seattle. 18 for Rodriguez. What do you need to see from Juan Soto here on his half of the final? Just consistency. Soto, 452 is his deepest drive here. He's at five with 45 seconds to go. Now he's got six. Low Ooh, line drive to yeah. left. Will it have enough? Yes, seven. That leaves. He's got the bonus. So Soto's going to get an extra minute. And there's a big one to center field that they will watch go. He'll call timeout. First of the bonus round for Soto. Soto to right. There goes another one. Juan Soto, deep drive, right center, tied it up. Soto, there it goes. Juan Soto. He keeps going. He's down on a knee. He's got it. Bat is flipped sky high. And Juan Soto is your 2022 Home Run Derby champion. Juan Soto becomes the second youngest Home Run Derby champion. Ken Griffey hands him the trophy. Juan Soto is your home run derby champion.